Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to create a gold card. Uh, if you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and then search for our How to Create a Gold Card procedure. Okay, next thing you need to do is you need to set up ADB. Um, in section 2 here you'll see a link to how to set up ADB. Click on that, follow that procedure, um, and then once you're done with that and you've done it correctly, then you can come back to this one and we can continue. Okay, before you begin, you first need to know that some memory cards just simply will not work for this process. Um, don't know exactly which ones won't. I do know that a 2GB Kingston SD card did work for me, so did a PKNY 2GB SD card. Um, so it's up to you if you want to just go buy one of those ahead of time before you begin the procedure, or if you want to try the procedure with your regular memory card and then redo it if it doesn't work. Um, the other thing you need to know is you need an SD adapter. Uh, most micro SD cards come with one, either a micro SD to USB adapter that allows you to put the micro SD card in the USB adapter and then plug it into your computer via USB, or uh, one that is an SD adapter that allows you to take the micro SD, put into an SD adapter, um, and then put that into an SD port on your computer. You need one of those regardless of which one, make sure you have one of those before you begin. Okay, after you have all the drivers and the SDK and Fastboot all installed and you've checked to make sure that they work properly, um, again, go to our site to see how to do that. Then we're going to create a gold card. We're going to take the phone or the uh, memory card that we're going to use for a gold card and put it into the phone. Then we're going to go Menu, Settings, SD Card. We're going to unmount it and we're going to format it. Erase. Okay, once we've done that, uh, it should show the numbers again, meaning that it has uh, remounted the SD card. And we're going to go to Applications, Development, and make sure that USB debugging is checked. Okay, once we've done all that, we go back to the home page, and we can plug our touch into our computer, and wait for it to connect. Okay, the next step is we got to open the command prompt on our computer, so we're going to go to the start menu and just type in CMD and hit enter. Okay, once the command prompt opens up, we're going to do CD backslash to get out of there. CD Android SDK slash tools. Uh, and that'll get us inside the tools folder. Now, if you didn't follow our step to uh, download and install the SDK, then yours might not be called Android SDK. It might be called something else. So type in whatever the folder name is for your SDK and wherever you put it, then tools, and then so on. Or go back and do our process. It doesn't take very long, and then you can uh, follow the steps as written here. Okay, so now we're done that. We're going to go ADB, devices. And you should have a serial number show up, which means that your device is connected properly. So that's good. Then we're going to type ADB shell. And give it a second. Okay, now when you see the dollar sign come up, now you can type cat space slash sys slash class slash mmc underscore host. C1, MC1, star, slash CID. Okay, and then hit enter. Okay, and now that number that pops up, that's the CID of your memory card. So we're going to write that number down. Uh, not mine, yours. It's going to be different. Um, but write that down and double check it, triple check it, make sure that it's written exactly as it is there. Okay, now that you've written down the code and you double checked it, triple checked it, made sure it was correct, um, you can go to this site here. And use SOA's little uh, gold card hex reverser. Um, put your code into there and hit submit. It should reverse it for you. It might already put the uh, first two digits and replace them with zeros. If it did that, great. Um, if it didn't, then take the first two digits once it's reversed and replace them with zeros. Then we can continue to the next step. Okay, now once you have that written down, you're going to go back to our site. And you're going to go to this site, the gold card site. Okay. Um, and then it's going to ask you for your email address. Put the right email address in because it's got to email your, uh, your gold card image. Um, but also it's going to ask you for the CID, which is what we wrote down. The reversed one, not 
the forward one. Um, make sure also that you replace the first two digits, which is 98 for me, with 00. zero. Okay, make sure that you do that. And then copy that string and put it into the section on the site uh, and click submit. And you'll get emailed your, uh, your image. Okay, once you get your gold card image uh, by email, it actually shouldn't take that long. It takes maybe 10, 15 minutes. Um, then do step 11. We're going to download the hex editor. So if you click on that, it's going to bring you to CNET download. Uh, download the hex editor. And then uh, once it's done downloading, you're going to unzip it. And we'll go from there. Okay, once we've downloaded the hex editor, now we're going to turn off, well, unplug and then turn off our My Touch. Okay. Once it's off, we are going to take out our memory card. Remember, again, this is the one that we're going to use for a gold card. It's not our normal memory card. And we are going to put it into the SD adapter that it came with. Make sure this is not locked. I'll push that all the way. And then we're going to put that into our computer. Okay, once we put the memory card in and we've installed the hex editor, we're actually going to find it in our program files. We're going to right click and click run as administrator if you're using uh, Vista or higher. Okay. Now that it's open, we're going to click on extras. Open disk. It's going to ask us to choose. Under physical disk, we're going to choose the removable disk. That's going to be our SD card. Uh, and then at the bottom, at the bottom, we're going to make sure to uncheck open as read only, okay? And then click. Yeah, if that's open, we're going to click on the extras tab again. We're going to click uh, Open Disk Image. And we're going to find the gold card image that we downloaded. Okay, and we're going to click Open. It's going to say specify the sector size. Just click OK. And now that we should have both the gold card.img open here and the removal disk here. Okay. Okay, with the goldcard.img tab selected, we're going to click Edit, select all, then edit again, and hit copy. Okay, and after we hit copy, we're going to click on the removable disk tab, and we are going to select uh, from 170 at the very end here. all the way up to the top. Okay, so you can see it's the same. Like 170. Okay, 170, but all the way to the end. You start here and you highlight backwards, usually works best. Uh, and then, we're going to click the Edit tab, and hit Paste Right. Now that's done, you're going to hit File, Save. All right, and now we can close the hex editor. Okay, now we're going to test what we've done. Uh, once we've saved and closed the hex editor, we're going to take out the memory card, and we're going to put it back in, and it should prompt us to open it.